An earthquake on Sunday, May 18th, 1980, caused the entire volcano-weakened north face of Mount St. Helens, once Washington State's fifth highest peak, to slide away, creating the largest landslide ever recorded. The after image shows the sheer scale of the collapse caused by the eruption of the volcano and the subsequent earthquake. This mega engineering project saw Boston's main arterial roadway, the I-93, moved from an elevated expressway underground into a series of tunnels. The aim of beautifying this section of the downtown Boston, the green space in the after image, is Rose Fitzgerald Kennedy Greenway, a roughly 1.5 mile long series of parks and public spaces which were the final part of the big dig after Interstate 93 was put underground. California is in the midst of one of the worst droughts in its history, and the state has been forced to draw from reservoir lakes at an unsustainable rate to supply households and farmers with water. The result is a landscape transformed. These before and after photos of Lake Oroville reveal the shocking effects of three years with little to no rain up and down the Golden State. The skyline which once greeted visitors to New York City is virtually unrecognisable from the same place today. All that remains from the image taken in 1876 is the iconic Brooklyn Bridge, which was still unfinished at the time of the image. Like the transformation of London today, New York's startling transformation into a skyscraper city is shown through images from 1976, 1932, 1988 and finally 2013. Harrowing images of the effect of the 2011 earthquake and tsunami abound, but in this simple image, it is easy to see the impact that the magnitude 9 undersea earthquake had right across Japan. The Google Street View images show an entire town all but completely wiped away, leaving the scene a desolate wasteland. In the 1980s, Dubai's government made a decision to become an attractive tourist destination, pouring the Emirates resources into achieving that goal. In 1988, there were just 48 hotels, with 4,764 rooms in the whole of Dubai. In 2012, there were 599 hotels and hotel apartments, with a total of 80,414 rooms and flats, according to the Dubai Corporation for Tourism and Commerce Marketing. The Emirates are estimated to have 160,000 rooms for visitors by 2020, as it completes this incredible transformation from tiny emirate to global juggernaut, but quite a strange place.